This video is on regular expressions. Regular expressions or regex is supported in all scripting languages as well as general purpose programming languages. Regular expressions are critical to cybersecurity experts because it is used for searching and you can save a lot of time. Think of regular expression as advanced form of control find. Not only can you use regex to find stuff, but you can add, remove, isolate, and manipulate all kinds of text and data as well. It's useful for numerous things and has multiple applications like web crawlers, data scrapping, data wrangling, and machine learning to name a few. With regular expressions, you can use match function to search for pattern with a given string. You can use search function to look for first occurrence of a given pattern. You can use find all function to search for a string and find all possible matches. And you can use substitute function to replace whatever you find and so much more. Regular expression is commonly used in security because analysts deal with logs and other large data files. You need to know how to create a script that searches for common patterns and locate certain information. For example, looking for a list of emails that ends with at suspicious.com or IP address that has specific numbers in the center. You can write regex script in almost anything like Python. It can allow you to extract information from servers or web pages without the need for someone to go there directly and pull the information manually. Don't worry too much about trying to remember all the syntax since you're gonna have the internet as a cheat sheet. Syntax is used to make your search function more clear. For example, circumflex character matches beginning of a line and money character matches end of the line and plus sign matches characters before and finding characters related to that and if it repeats that more than once. Ultimately, it's gonna help you automate tasks like pulling information you're looking for. This is critical because data is always changing. For example, you can write script that runs every morning that will look for new images by finding anything that ends with JPEG, for example, or .png. If there's any new images that got created or maybe there are images that got modified and you know this by finding data size changes, you can pull it up for further analysis. Let's do a very simple review. Here's a skeletal structure of regex string. Refind all pattern comma string. Using the string, let's say I want to find how many times a movie theater will be playing a Lion King movie on a particular day, let's say Tuesday. And we can pull this from a text file called Tuesday Movie List. The find all returns all known overlapping matches of a pattern in a string as a list of string and will find return the data in respective order. This is the function and within it, we have the pattern we want to look for followed by a comma and a string. String is the location we wanna look for the data. This string will return Lion King if we add print function before all of that. This is how we know they're playing Lion King X amount of times. You can make this string more complicated by adding more syntax to be specific to time and can even get more fancy by pulling out movies that starts with the letter A and so much more. You could add multiple syntax to make this even more complicated.